All right, everybody, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create nylon guitar beats all from scratch in FL Studio. So as you guys know, we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's just jump straight in. All right, so we are now here in FL Studio 21. First things first, I'm gonna pick a guitar. In this case, I'm gonna be using this nylon sky guitar in Omnisphere. It is personally my favorite nylon guitar VST, as you, most of you guys already know. So we are gonna be using this one because it sounds super clean and it's also very realistic sounding. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is just lower the BPM a little bit. Now, something in between 120 and 140 should pretty much be perfect for this nylon type of guitar vibe. Then we're also gonna pick the D sharp minor scale for this one and let's start laying down the pattern. As for the guitar pattern, we're actually gonna keep things very, very simple. The trick to creating catchy guitar patterns is actually to keep them very simple and repetitive. And then you can just do some minor tweaks in the pattern here and there. So let's just start off with a simple D sharp minor chord. So we are just gonna have this for the first bar. As you guys can see, it's just a simple D sharp minor chord with an inverted middle note right here. And then we also have a small filler note right here just for these half steps. We're just gonna copy that over and do a few adjustments on the second part. So pretty much the only thing I'm gonna do is just pitch this down to this D sharp instead. And this is pretty cool. Now that we have the first part, I'm just gonna copy the whole thing over and let's try to pitch it up by five semitones to see how that sounds. So I didn't really like how it sounded when we pitched it up or down by five semitones. So I'm actually just gonna copy the whole thing over and just have it repeat over and over again. So we can have this as our foundation and then add some more on top later on. Let's go in and add some effects to the guitar. Starting off with some simple reverb. Next we need some EQ for the low end as well. Add a little bit of RC20 as well. Just using this bottle 3 preset right here. Lastly, I'm just going to widen out the sound using an imager. And the next thing I'm going to do is just open up Arcade and I'm going to try to find a nice sounding flute phrase we can add on top. So I'm literally just going to go in here and search up flute and see what we can find. Alright, so I did open up this preset right here and I found this crazy sounding flute phrase. That's fire. All I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of EQ and reverb and then we can blend it together nicely with the guitar. All right, this thing behind me just fell. So the rest of the video is gonna have to be without it. So now with both the flute and the guitar, we have this. And they complement each other very well. Let's go in and add some more layers in the background. So I'm just gonna use one of the presets from the Unclean Machine in Omnisphere, and I'm literally just gonna play around with the keyboard until we have something nice. Just mess around. Mm. So I just pitch these down a bit just so it's not so loud, but we can have it in the background and just add some effects to it. Mm. The last thing we're gonna do to the melody is just go in here and quickly add a texture from the Mirage Multi Kit. So I'm just gonna drag in a random one. Just drag in this, double click it and make sure to stretch it to the right time. Reset the pitch and we can also lower the volume a bit. Right now that we have the sample finished, let's quickly add some drums. As for all the drum sounds I'm using, they are also coming from the Mirage Multi Kit. So if you like any of the drum sounds you hear in this video, you can obviously check out the kit. It is on my website, which is bbmarker.com, or you guys can just click the first link down below. By the way, I'm having a crazy sale on the website until the end of the week. So make sure you guys go check out the kit on the website. So if you like any of the sounds you hear, make sure to check it out. Just starting off with a simple clap.
Let's get the bounce going. Let's put on some hi-hats as well. For the hi-hats on this one, I'm actually going to go into the Euphoria Bundle Kit, which is an older kit that I have, and just go in and drag in one of the hi-hat midis I have in here. Mm. This bounce is actually crazy, I'm not even going to lie. The second part right here. I messed with this heavy. Let's go ahead and add some rims. Okay, so we have a pretty cool bounce going right now before we get a kick. Let's go in and pick a hard hitting kick for this one. We're only gonna go in here and actually boost it so it's extra punchy. Just copy that over. Mm. Second part on the guitar as well. Now we just need to layer that with the 808 and that should pretty much be it. Yeah, with the 808 as well. Ah, that's hard. Just some cool little chops here and there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the beat. Cool little elements right here. And then we have the flute as well. We have a cool chop right here. 